Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today's top video is the top nine things to do with baking soda. Um, baking soda is incredibly versatile. It's one of those things in which you can buy in bulk and you'll just use over and over and over and over again for so many different things. Um, we actually do buy it in bulk and we get it super stupid cheap. Um, it, we actually get it from Amazon. It's like a few dollars cheaper than you would buy it in bulk from the store. Uh, so, um, we buy it in like the big, you know, uh, bags. Anyway, technically, um, I have never heard of baking soda going bad, but I would take precautions and, you know, just keep it sealed, you know, keep it in a cool, dry place, things like that, you know, keep it away from humidity, stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, baking soda, as I've heard, pretty much lasts forever unless you use it as a deodorizer. So, let's get the first one is going to be using it as a natural deodorant. I, in fact, use uh, baking soda as a deodorant. So my natural deodorant is baking soda, cornstarch, and coconut oil. I mix those three together. I put it in the fridge for a few hours. Bada boom, bada bing, I have a natural deodorant. And this natural deodorant not only works, but it lasts forever because you only use this teeny, itty, little bitty bit. So it, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. The next thing that baking soda is going to be good for is insect bites. You mix a little bit of baking soda with a little bit of water and then you put it on the insect bites. There you go. Whenever you see like those um, anti-itch creams, that, like especially the ones that are safe best for kids, you will see that the main ingredient is baking soda. And so, you know, why buy baking soda when you can just get baking soda, mix it with a little bit of water and have your own anti-itch cream. Next one is going to be using it as an antacid. This is probably not as wildly known, I think, as a use for a baking soda, but it can definitely be used as a uh, antacid. The next one is going to be toothpaste. You mix a little bit of baking soda with a little bit of water, and then you can put some drops of peppermint oil in there if you'd like, and you can just use that as the toothpaste. And the next one, like I mentioned a little bit earlier, was deodorizer. You know how everybody puts the, that little box of baking soda in the refrigerator? It's because it's helpful for deodorizing. It absorbs uh, the bad smells and things like that. So you can use the deodorizer for so many different places. Trash cans, you know, just wherever. It'll absorb uh, bad smells. Next one is going to be using it as a dry shampoo. This is something else that I uh, use a mixture of. I actually use a mixture of baking soda and um, cornstarch and that will make a nice uh, dry shampoo. Now again, you use just a little tiny bit, especially if you have dark hair like mine and you don't want <laughs> to be ghostly, but you just do a little tiny bit, you know, just a little bit on your scalp and uh, it absorbs those oils. All right, the next one is going to be use baking soda for extinguishing oil and grease fires. Grab that box of uh, baking soda, throw it, uh, on that grease fire or oil fire and that can definitely help if you can't suppress it any other way. The next one is going to be using it as a cleaner. This is definitely a very popular one. You can clean so many things with baking soda um, and it just it, it, it's, it's just a miracle how, <laughs> how it works. All right, and the last one's going to be a hand cleanser. You can clean your hands with it. Basically, baking soda has a million one uses, I would say. You know, you can just clean like almost everything with it and uh, you know you can mix it with other stuff you know basically um, one of the best ways to use it is going to be mixing it with just the baking soda and water and then using it as you will but there's a lot of other little mixtures that you can make you know to make um, homemade cleansers to you know wash laundry uh, dishes um, again you know making toothpaste oh, uh, deodorant, just a whole bunch of good stuff. So stock up on that uh, baking soda. I would suggest that's definitely a prepper must. Thank you all so much for watching. What are some other uses for baking soda that you can think of? Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.